Well, lucky for you, I happen to be a black belt. I, I definitely didn't buy it off of Amazon. I definitely earned it, but um, yeah, let's just go with that. Hey guys, I'm Mathis Bakai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to uh, use this cool bisect feature, which we've done before in the past on the channel. Um, but I wanted to make a specific, like, dedicated video just for it because I know a lot of people. Um, have been asking me recently where this is where that is because some of the GUI is a little bit different so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and hit, go ahead and hit tab on our keyboard to open this up here and you can see that we have a bunch of different tools on the left hand side here now if we have if we use the knife tool if you click that bad boy you can you just draw, draw a little knife thing over top of the you know, you know the cam the, the the default cube and we can just you know cut them up a bit and now he has all these different vertices on him and he's looking kind of crazy but this is not exactly what we want so what I want to do is I want to use the bisect tools to kind of cut this in half and like chop it up so let's go ahead click and hold on the knife tool and you can see it brings up the bisect tool which is sweet so now we have the bisect tool we can use that and let's go ahead and just click and drag a line over top of this right here now when we do that and we let go you can see that it'll open up this little this little dialog and we hit, if we uh, select fill and clear inner you can see that it will get rid of that little piece that we just kind of cut which is really really cool stuff so that is basically the entire thing and i like i love this because you can use it for so many different things you can go ahead and use this um just click and drag a line over top of that right there oh, you have to make sure everything's selected though so first so if you click and drag and it, it gives you this little error that says um selected edges faces required just go ahead and hit a on your keyboard and then just try it again just go ahead and click and drag a line on top of that then hit fill and clear inner uh sorry okay well not like that like <laughs> like that and then fill clear inner now it gets get rid of, gets rid of that little piece there so make sure things are selected and then you can cut them like that and you can see if you whatever's on the inside is what's gonna, it's what's going to clear so if this is all on the inside but now like it'll get rid of the top piece because that's on the outside but it, it'll get rid of all of this on the bottom so a way you can fix that is if you go ahead and do like this and you only want the bottom piece to be gone instead of hitting clear inner you can hit clear outer and then it'll get rid of that piece down there so that is a great little tool here ladies and gentlemen i think this is one of the coolest things in blender um i really really like this a lot i think it's very very useful for creating like cool rocky shapes or creating cool like crystals or gemstones or something like that but yeah ladies and gentlemen go ahead and get out there and use this tool because i absolutely love it i think it's cool one of the coolest ones like i said and we don't use it we don't use it often enough so hope you ladies, ladies and gentlemen enjoyed this tutorial i hope you learned something new i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye